Hey gang, Travis here. Uh, no vlog today. Instead, I'd like to do a little performance piece for you. Um, I'm going to perform for you my second favorite poem, actually. It's a read of poetry reading, I guess. Uh, my second favorite after Jabberwocky, which I've already performed for you, uh, which you can find actually on, over on my main channel. So uh, this is Florette by Robert W. Service. My leg? It's off at the knee. Do I miss it? Well, some. You see, I've had it since I was born. And lately, a devilish corn. <laughs> I'd rather chuckle with glee to think, oh, I fooled that corn. But I'll hobble around all right. It isn't that. It's my face. Oh, I know, I'm a hideous sight. Hardly a thing in place, sort of. Gargoyle, you'd say. The nurse won't give me a glass, but I see folks as they pass shudder and turn away. Turn away in distress. <laughs> Near enough, I guess. But I'm happy! Oh, you bet I'm gay. <laughs> you know, I wasn't a while ago. I mean, if you'd seen me, even today, the darndest picture of woe, with this Caliban mug of mine so ravaged and raw and red, turned to the wall. And fine, wishing I was dead. But it's happened since then? Since I lay with my face to the wall, the most despairing of men? Listen, I'll tell you all. That soldier across the way with the shrapnel wound in his head has a sister. She came today to sit a while by his bed. All morning I heard him fret. Oh, when will she come, Florette? Then sudden, a joyous cry, the tripping of little feet, the softest, tenderest sigh, a voice so fresh, so sweet, clear as a silver bell, fresh as the morning dew. What is it? What is it, Marcel? My brother, what's happened to you? So over the blanket's rim I raised my terrible face, and I saw, oh, how I envied him, a girl of such delicate grace, sixteen all laughter and love, as gay as a linnet, and yet as tenderly sweet as a dove. Half woman, half child. Florette. Well, then I turned to the wall again. I was awfully blue, you see, and I thought with a bitter pain such visions are not for me. And so there, like a log, I lay all hidden, I thought, from view, when sudden I heard her say, Ah, who is that poor fellow? And briefly I heard him tell, however he came to know, how I'd smothered a bomb that fell into the trench, and so none of my men were hit, though it busted me up a bit. Well, I didn't quiver an eye, and he chattered, and there she sat. And I fancied I heard her sigh, but... I wouldn't just swear to that. And maybe she wasn't so bright, though she talked in a merry strain. And I closed my eyes ever so tight, and yet I saw her ever so plain. Her dear little tilted nose, her delicate dimpled chin, her mouth like a budding rose and the glistening pearls within. Her eyes like a violet. Such a rare little queen, Florette. And at last, when she rose to go, the light was a little dim, and I ventured to peep, and I saw her, graceful and slim, and she kissed him and kissed him, and oh, how I envied and envied him. So when she was gone, I said, in rather a dreary voice to him of the opposite bed, ah, friend, how you must rejoice, but me, I'm a thing of dread. For me, never more the bliss, the thrill of a woman's kiss. And then I stopped, for lo, she was there, and a great light shone in her eyes, and me, I could only stare, I was taken by so by surprise. When gently she bent her head, May I kiss you, Sergeant? she said. And she kissed my burning lips with her mouth like a scented flower. 
and I thrilled to the fingertips, but I hadn't even the power to say, God bless you, dear. But I felt such a precious tear fall on my withered cheek. Oh, darn it. <laughs> I couldn't speak. And so she went sadly away, and I knew that my eyes were wet. Not to my dying day will I ever forget. Forget. Oh, well, can you wonder now I'm so happy? God bless her, that little florette.